week's challenge, the producers have arranged for us to spend the day at the rather lovely Deanery Dairy Farm in Staffordshire. Ah, oh, isn't it good for the soul to get back to nature, to, you know, be in amongst the rural rolling hills and hear the low moo of the Mount Belliard? What's that? The, the kind of French cow they have here. Oh, OK. I mean, it must take a lot of effort to stay on top of all the mud and mm. the cow. Mm. Yeah, so that's why I've got this. Check this out. That's right, Georgie, to help keep the mud from the barn door, I've brought the UK's best-selling pressure washer to the farm. Karcher's K4 Premium Power Control Car and Home. It's got 130 bars of pressure, 8 metres of high-pressure hose, it weighs 90 kilos, and it has accessories galore. And it's black and yellow. Karcher. Instantly recognisable. Very good, very good. Well, I have an alternative option. I have the Titan 150 bar. Oh, right. 150 bar pressure, yeah? Yes, not only has my Titan 150 got 20 more bars of pressure than yours, it's two kilos lighter and it's got 10 metres of hose compared to your eight. And most importantly, it is a hell of a lot cheaper. The cows agree. I'm going to be putting your karcher under more pressure than the water today, Otis. I can feel challenge number one coming on. Find out which pressure washer is really good at cleaning vehicles. No, no you haven't said that correctly. It's really, oh, yeah. really good. Yes, our producers are terrible with puns and mean with time. They've given us just 15 minutes to clean up this very dirty tractor. Thankfully, my karcher comes with an app to guide me through. Here we go, 11 steps. First, remove all the dust and dirt. Vario power spray first, OK. Rinse from the bottom up again, and then dry. Brilliant! Well, my Titan 150 doesn't come with any pointless apps, but it does have the Vario Power Spray that offers an adjustable spray pattern for cleaning vehicles. Looking at the state of those wheels, I'm going for the more powerful rotary jet to take advantage of that very powerful 150 bar of pressure. Let's see what damage I can do with this. Oh, it is satisfying. All right, Georgie, so yours has got more pressure than mine, but I've got a trick up my sleeve in the form of this high-pressure gun. I'm switching nozzles. Ideal for blasting stubborn dirt. I mean, it just cuts through the... stuff, doesn't it? It's brilliant! No time to stand back and admire Otis. We've only got five minutes left to clean the cap. No worries there, GB. The karcher makes it simple with the rotating washing brush and foam soap. Proprietary soap. No need to pour it into something. You just straight in. Not sure how simple yours is looking over there, Georgie. No. Ah, just a minor hiccup. But whilst the soap for my Titan isn't proprietary, as with the karcher, once fitted correctly, the low-pressure foam gun does make it simple to spray on. You can't be tits foaming as we go. La, 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 la. Now that I've foamed, I'm going to change my attachment to the brush and then I'll be able to wash off that foam. Yeah, but once you've soaked, you're going to have to brush before you rinse, whereas my rotary washing brush allows me to apply my detergent and gently brush it in at the same time. I'm happy with that. I'm ready to rinse. I'll admit, the two attachments makes mine slightly harder work, but it's not over until we've rinsed these tractors for all they're worth. Now I'm getting there. Stop the clock! Hmm, now we might have both missed a bit of tyre, but with both sides looking reasonable, I think it comes down to which pressure washer was easiest to use. I definitely think looking at you whilst cleaning it with your little twizzle brush I was a bit jealous of that. Uh, do you know, that twizzle brush is amazing. If we're really getting down to the nitty-gritty, then maybe your side clinches the win. I don't know about maybe. Right, yeah, you won. One nil to me. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. So, thanks to its vehicle cleaning accessories, challenge one goes to the Karcher K4. But we've still two challenges to go, and it's no use crying over spilt milk. Though I think for challenge two, the producers might want us to do exactly that.
Okie dokie, challenge number two. Let's go. Blast milk cartons, I assume these ones, yes. off the hay bales. Decide which pressure washer has the best range and pressure. Ooh. If you want your pressure washer to clean windows or brickwork at a height, perhaps, it's important to find out which has the best range and accuracy from a set distance. So, we've been set a four-metre mark from which to spray five cartons, each filled to different levels. Prepare to lose again. Should be your middle name. Uh, we'll see about that. Yeah. Georgie's Titan might have the headline bar pressure, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will have the best reach. I'm confident the high-pressure jet of the Karcher spray can knock these milk cartons right off. Right, this is soft. OK, not really doing it. I mean, it's given the bottle a nice spray, isn't it? Right, I'm going medium now. One. OK. Ah, it's gone. Good, good, good. Turn it on to full blast. Hard! Two. So, Georgie, what you're witnessing is my 130 bar of pressure in full effect. Oh, Otis, oh, Otis. No. It's not locking down the third carton, is it? Uh, no, it's not. Right, enough of that. That's just... You, I think we can call it two, then. That's really disappointing. Oh, dear, Otis, it seems the range of the carter just doesn't quite cut it. They look more macho in the slow-mo. Now, stand back. It's my turn. In three, two, one. Oh, look at that. One down. Wow! Two down. Three down. <laughs> She's a Four machine. Down. <laughs> Five down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's right, Otis. With its 150 bar and adjustable spray nozzle, the reach of the Titan is far superior to the light misting. It just goes to show, on paper, I have the higher bar, and in real life, that translates to absolutely smashing it. Carton carnage. Carton carnage. Yeah. Have I done my crying over spilt milk line yet, Otis? Nope, I did it earlier, Georgie. Well, I'll just have to settle with milking my cheaper Titans victory in round two, then. But there's still a challenge to come later in the programme. It's in the cow shed, and it's going to be the muckiest one yet. So far in today's farming-themed pressure washer challenge, my big brand Karcher K4 was the easiest to use when we cleaned up this tractor in test one. Whilst well, my cheaper Titan Bar 150 helped me spill the most milk in test two. Five down! Leaving Otis and his Karcher to do the crying. But now it's time to see which pressure washer will ultimately pave its way to glory with challenge three in the cow shed. It says, get <laughs> I know, I'm funny. Uh, it's time to test out the accessories that come with your pressure washers and clean out the cow shed. Oh. Two identical areas have been marked out on the very mucky cow shed floor. Whoever's washer cleans it up in the quickest time wins. Let's do it. To entice the most stubborn muck off the cowshed floor, I'm using the Karcher's aptly named Dirt Blaster attachment. This particular nozzle I've got here specialises in cleaning stone. It can spray up to 450 litres of water an hour in a rotating motion, which the manufacturer claims is perfect for paving and patios. Look at that! All that doo-doo is a thing of the past. Meanwhile, my Titan doesn't have a dirt blasting option, so I've opted for the adjustable head nozzle to be gone with this bull. I was using my most powerful head that won me the last challenge, but it's not go it's not going well for this one, so I'm gonna change heads and see if that helps. A quick switch to the rotating nozzle soon destroys Daisy's doo-doo. Oh yes, that's better. Making much better use of the additional 80 litres of water, the Titan kicks out each hour compared to the Karcher. It's got a bit more of a spray. That seems to be cleaning the floor a lot better. Good effort, Georgie, but not good enough. Oh, that's a stubborn bit. Go on, get out. Get out. My Karcher's already cut through the most stubborn cow pats, so now I'm swapping to the T-Racer patio cleaner head to buff up the floor nice and good. Here we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Two rotating flat jet nozzles create a hovercraft-like effect, making cleaning easy and giving little splashback. 
I've got to be honest, I don't know how much difference it's making, but it doesn't take much effort. Meanwhile, I think I've gone about as far as my traditional nozzle will take me, so I'm also swapping to a patio brush. So I'm peering over the hay bale and, annoyingly, he's doing a lot better than me. Forget hovercraft. My Titan needs witchcraft to get its patio brush working effectively. I think it's getting caught on the mud. It's too many abrasions. It's a bit like hoovering, but a lot messier. Well, I think it's time you hovered over here, Georgie, because I am done. Finished. Look at this. The eh? thing is, annoyingly, I know that you've done a really good job. Look I've at been that. peering over my hay bale. Oh, my. Yeah. You can eat your dinner off that. I mean, that's kind of you to offer. I think I may give that a miss, but I will say it's a hands-down win because mine is still looking a very, very sorry state. Yes! When it came to patio-like surfaces, my Karcher earned another sparkling result, giving it win number two and victory after our day at the farm.